So let me welcome you first to this special month. Hallelujah. It's going to be a good month for you. No evil formed against you will prosper. The Lord will show you his mercy, his grace, his favor in this month in the name of Jesus. September is the ninth month of the year and the beginning of the last quarter. Very, very significant month. I will say six things about the month of September. Six things about the month. Take them, prophesy them to your life wrong with it. Number one, you see, the, the word September, the word September is from a French word that means seven. Seven. It's, uh, it used to be the seventh month of the year when the year was made of 10 months. So the name September was from a French word that means seven. And seven stands for perfection. It stands for completion. God made the world, completed it in seven days. Seven days. And therefore this month I pray for you that the Lord will perfect and complete his work in your life. May God's miracles be completed in you this month. All that God has begun to do in the course of this year, may they come to perfection in the course of this month of September for you. In the name of Jesus. See, that number seven also means rest because God rested on the seventh day and commanded you know, seven as the day of rest, Sabbath. To rest means to have peace, tranquility, to come to a state of no more struggle, no more labor. I pray for somebody here. This month of September, we bring rest to you. There will be peace in your life. There will be peace in your family. There will be peace in your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I decree rest for you. In this month, in the name of Jesus, may God bring you to a state of no more struggle. A state of peace and tranquility. In the name of Jesus. In this month, I decree an end to unfruitful labor in your life. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear you say amen? The second thing, the important thing that I want you to understand that you can believe God for and pray for yourself about September is that it is the ninth month. Number nine itself also stands for perfection, maturity, completion. Because, you know, number nine completes the numeric numbers. All numbers are known by zero to nine. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After nine, there's no number any longer. Every other number is made from zero, one to nine. I hope you understand that. So nine starts for completion. God will complete his work in your life. That dream that you are struggling with, the Lord will perfect it this month in the name of Jesus. 
You see, it, it stands for finality. Finality. Hallelujah. The end of the sing, single digit. I pray for you. An end comes to delay in your life. An end comes to struggle in your life. An end comes to that pain that you are going through. That sickness that has been going and coming, going and coming. In, as you enter this month of September, it comes to a final end. In the name of Jesus. That number nine is the biggest of all the single digits. So this month, God will give you the greatest and the best. In the name of Jesus. Your biggest and greatest miracle this year is coming to you this month. In the name of Jesus, may you experience the greatest divine visitation in the course of the month of September. In the name of Jesus, may God bring you manifold blessing. Manifold blessing this month in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Say after me, I declare that this month of September shall be my month of completeness, my month of greatness, an end to struggle, an end to fruitless labor in the name of Jesus. Can I hear you say amen? See, number three, September is the beginning of the four months that end with Ba. You know, they call them Ember month. Ember month, right? September, October, November, December. I told them yesterday in church, you know, what God had put in my heart. And he has asked me to tell you that the Ember months are months of blessings for you. This Ember month, they will be months of prosperity. They shall be months of divine favor. They are months in which the Lord will preserve your going out and your coming in. In this month, September, October, November, December, no evil formed against you shall prosper. No, there shall no evil befall you. Where you turn to the right and turn to the left, the Lord shall be there for you. Everywhere you go, his presence will go with you. That these four months shall be for special favor for you, for your family, in the name of Jesus. Hear me, don't be afraid. God is going to bless the work of your hands. God is going to bring increase to you, to your family, in the name of Jesus. The Lord will open unto you great doors and effectual doors in this last four months of this year in the name of Jesus. The Lord will keep you when you go out. The Lord will keep you out there. The Lord will keep you when you're coming in the name of Jesus. Can I hear you say amen? Hallelujah. Ember months for blessings. Ember months for favor. Ember months for glory. Ember months for prosperity. Ember months for divine security. Can I hear you say amen? In this month, you shall not fear. There is nothing the enemy can do to you. Hallelujah. Number five, you see, September. Is it number four? September. Like I told you, is the beginning of the last four months. Last quarter. The last four months of the year. So it is a time to review and repackage yourself for accomplishing your visions and your goal. It's time to sit down. Review. Ask yourself. January till August. The dreams or the instructions that God gave to me and to our church. What have I done with it? I have only four more months. This is the year 
of making progress. What have I achieved? What have I done? Where am I going? It is a time to review your strategy and throw in your best efforts so that you can realize dreams and visions. It's time to do more than what you've done before, better than what you have done before. As an individual, as an organization, your company needs to reveal. The church needs to reveal. We must ask ourselves, we have four more months. Four more months. Four months to run. Four months to move faster. Four months to get better. And I decree in the name of Jesus, fresh wisdom for you. Fresh grace for you. Better results for you. In the name of Jesus, as you sit and review, receive insights from heaven. Receive speed from God. This year will not end without your enlargement. Starting from this month, you will enlarge significantly. You will make significant progress with your life. In the name of Jesus. Get together. Put yourself together. God is ready to help you. Arise and shine. For your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Rise up. Shake yourself. Speak to your life. Run like you have never run before. Do things you've not done before. Make bold steps. Move forward. Go forward. And you will go forward. Can I hear you say amen? Number five. God asked me to tell you that number nine stands for delivery. It's the month of delivery. A woman carries a child for nine months and delivers. It's a time to bring to birth those thoughts in our hearts. This is the time to run. It's a time for you to deliver results. A time for you to bring to birth your dreams and your vision. Tell yourself, this is my month of delivery. This is my month of delivery. God will cause you to bring to birth. In the name of Jesus, God will show you how to move forward and get results within the same month. In the name of Jesus, Hmm. Hallelujah. The parent who has been waiting and crying to God, this is your month. You will bring to birth. You will conceive this month in the name of Jesus. Everyone who has been crying unto God for direction, for resolve, for open door, for open heaven, this is the month of delivery. God will deliver your answer. Heaven will deliver your answer. In the name of Jesus, I decree this month of September as the month to bring to birth your dreams, your prayers, and all you have been laboring for. They shall bring results in the course of this month. In the name of Jesus. Number six, the month of September. Is the month of significant increase for us in Chapel of Vision. I want you to say this month is my month of significant increase. Now I want you to say with comment, say this month is my month of significant increase. Say it one more time. This month is my month of significant increase. Let me speak to somebody. Tell him this month is your month of significant increase. Oh, come and prophesy to another person. Say, this month is your month of significant increase. I shall be so in the name of Jesus. You know, increase means to become more. More. More in size. More in 
quantity, more in number, you will become more. Your number will increase. Your finances will increase. Your results will increase. God's favor will increase. The mercy of God will increase. Open doors will increase. Your business will increase. Oh, job opportunities will increase. Everything about your life will increase. In this month, in the name of Jesus, thou shall increase to the left, to the right, to the front, in every area. There shall be increase for you. There shall be increase in your life. There shall be increase in your family. In the name of Jesus, somebody shall increase. Let me hear they shout increase. Tell somebody I shall increase significantly this month in the name of Jesus. Let me hear your amen to that. When you say something is significant, it means it is notable, notable, noteworthy. It means it is worthy of attention. It can be seen. It is, it is big, big enough. It is in large amount. Something significant is not something small. When there's a small increase, it's not significant. But when, when an increase is big, then it is significant. What God wants is that the progress we make this small will be big, will be noticeable will be notable, will be worthy of attention. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. In this month of September, you will have significant increase, significant progress, significant favor, significant mercy. Help will come to you in big measure. In the name of Jesus, the hand of God will touch you in a big way. In a noticeable way. Help us will come to you in a noticeable way. In a big number. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear you say amen? You see, God wants us this year to have enlargement. Right? This is our year of enlargement. Enlargement comes by deliberate and consistent and significant increase. Enlargement. When there is deliberate, when there is consistent and significant increase, it results to what? To enlargement. No, you are going to take advantage of God's prophetic word and uh, and you're going to make that deliberate, that consistent and significant increase. You see, God wants you to put his word to action. He says, enlarge. So God wants you to deliberately increase your life. Increase your effort. Increase your hard work. Increase your input. Because when you increase your input, your output will increase. Hallelujah. The Bible says, you know, uh, 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 whatsoever a man soweth, that also he shall reap. Hallelujah. You reap in the measure of what you sow. You get in the measure of what you put down. You receive in the measure of what you give. For you to have enlargement, you must put down significant seed. Significant seed. Significant hard work. Significant effort. And God is saying, look, I, you have four months, four months for your testimony to complete. It's time for you to do something significant with yourself, with your life, so that 
you can make progress in a significant way. It's time to stop being idle. It's time to stop sleeping. It's time to stop wishing it will happen. No. God wants you to rise up and take bold steps. Significant steps so that you can increase. In this month, I pray for you. There shall be increase. The barren shall be with child. The poor will experience financial increase. Doors will open to you in a big way. Those who have no jobs, heaven will send jobs to you. The believer will increase and multiply himself. This church shall increase significantly. Everything you lay your hands upon to do shall significantly prosper. Can I hear you say amen? But God wants you to rise up. He wants you to walk. He wants you to do something better. Look, if you are struggling with your life, if you have been struggling with your character, this is the time to significantly make a change. Make a change to yourself, to your life. If you are lazy, it's time to significantly stop being lazy. If, you, if there are issues with your life, this is the time to significantly change what you are struggling with. God wants increase for you and he needs you to do something significant with your life. Am I speaking to somebody? Somebody say, in the name of Jesus, there shall be change. Significant change in my life in this month of September. Can I hear you say amen? Come on, say amen. Let me just share with you one or two secrets of significant increase. You see, significant increase comes through hard work. Hard work. Hard work. In, in, uh, in Genesis chapter 30, verse 30. Genesis 30, verse 30. Jo Jacob, he gave a testimony of how he brought significant increase to uh, his father. What's his name? Laban. His father-in-law. He said in verse 30, he said, for your flock was little before I came. And it is now increased toward a multitude. That's what God expects from any of us. That when you look back by the end of September, you will say, I started September 1st with little. But now, it has increased into multitude. This is going to be your testimony. Everything you lay your hands upon to do shall increase to multitude. In your studies, suddenly you will discover that you are no longer at the level you were before. When you read, you have this fantastic understanding. When you write exams, you no longer score, struggle with a C or a D or a B. You are going for an A. Receive significant increase. Receive significant wisdom in the name of Jesus. God wants you to bring significant increase to the things you do for people. The things you do for people. The things you do for people. Jacob was able to affect the life of Laban that he was working for. You see, he was working for Laban and he could stand and say boldly, I worked for you. When I came, things were small. But now, there is multitude. You see, when you serve, you serve people and make significant impact in their life. If you're a member of a church, you must be the reason why the church has increased significantly. You can see when I joined this church, you we were just 30. But you see now, I have brought another 30 to this church in just one more. Ask yourself, what significant impact have you made in your church? The reason why God placed you anywhere is so that from little, it can become a multitude. Is somebody hearing me? You have no testimony. If you are the only one, you are there for five years. It's just you and your children. It's just you and your family. Who have you added to the kingdom? Who have you added? 
this is the month where God wants you to add significant increase, increase to his kingdom that you are serving. Jacob added multitudes. He served and he added multitudes. How did he do it? How did he do it? And I'm going to show it to you. Hallelujah. You know, it, 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 go to chapter 31 and read verse 6. Chapter 31 verse 6. You see, you cannot add something significant to the work you are doing, to the church where you are serving, to the business where you are working, unless you do something that is significant. There can be significant increase. You must do something that is extraordinary, that other people are not doing. And this is what he said. He said to, to uh, his wife, he said, look, you know that with what? With all my power, I serve your father. How was he able to move the riches of Jacob from little to multitude? How? He served with what? All his power. All his power. All his strength. All his ideas. All his effort. He put everything he had into it. And he made sure that there was something significant that was happening. Hallelujah. He was increasing him. I pray for you. You will increase what you do. You will have a testimony for your labor. You will not just be in the number. You will be one of those who make things so happen. Can I hear you say amen? This is your month. This is your month. God is looking for people who will go out there and increase his kingdom. Hallelujah. In a significant way, God is looking for people who will serve how? With all of their power. All of their power. All of their power. When you serve with your strength, with your wisdom, with your money, with your energy, there will be results. Hallelujah. When you don't rest, you're always inviting people to Jesus, inviting them to church, preaching the gospel. When your effort is significant, your result will show. Can I say that again? When your effort is significant, what will happen? Your result will show. Receive grace for significant result. I say receive grace for significant result. In the name of Jesus. And Jacob, because he served and served Laban with all his power and brought multitudes to him, when he was released to serve himself, God blessed him. God increased him. Hallelujah. You know, if you don't serve people well, you can't serve yourself well. When you serve God well, you receive the grace to serve. You know how to even work for yourself. Is somebody hearing me? Until you know how to serve with all your power. You cannot do anything well when even it is your own. When it's your own. This month, you will focus and serve God well. And you will focus and serve yourself well. The God who increased Jacob he will increase you. The God who made Jacob to go from nothing to multitudes, he will cause you also to go from nothing to multitudes in the name of Jesus. Genesis 30, 43. This is what happened to Jacob. I'll soon you know, pray for you. Genesis 30, 43. This is what happened to him. But you see, it didn't happen to a lazy man. It happened to a man that knows how to work with all his power. A man that knows how to work with all his power. Significant increase will come to people who knows how to serve in a significant way. Who, know, who, are, who are hard workers. Who are focused. Who put energy to him. What happened to him? You see, the man, how? He increased exceedingly. There is Exceeding increase coming to somebody here. I prophesy over you all in the name of Jesus. He increased exceedingly. Not only exceedingly uh, did he increase, he increased in different ways. He says he had 
chapter 2, he had maid servants, he had men servants, he had camels, he had asses. Hallelujah. Multidimensional increase. That's what God is promising you. That this month, when you put in significant effort, there shall be multidimensional significant increase. I prophesy to your life. In every area, you will increase. In every area, you will increase. In every area, you will increase. Can I hear you say amen? As I close, I want you to open to Isaiah chapter 52. This is what the scripture that God gave me for you this, this day. Increase is coming. Significant increase is coming. Isaiah, Isaiah 52, verse 1 says, Awake! Awake! Put on your strength. That's what the month is all about. Hallelujah. Say, so you do what? Awake. Get up. Put on what? Your strength. Put on your beautiful garments. Oh, Jerusalem, the holy city. It says, for henceforth, for henceforth, there shall not come unto you the uncircumcised and the unclean. God is asking me to tell you it's time to get up. Awake. Wake yourself up. He wants to increase you. Wake up. Be alert. Put on your beautiful garment. Decorate yourself. Don't look down on yourself. Hallelujah. Dress yourself for glory. Dress yourself for success. Dress yourself for increase. Anything that will bring beauty to your life, put it on. Hallelujah. Put on your beautiful garment. Anything that will bring progress, put it on. Anything that will not bring shame, put it off. It's your time. It's your season. Rise up. You will shine. Rise up. You will shine. Rise up. You will shine. Glory to God. Oh, when you get home, read from that verse 1 to the end. It's your season to rise up. There is a promise. God is bringing an end to your struggle, an end to your slavery, an end to your frustration. And God is asking you, awake. <laughs> Put on your beautiful garment. Put it on. Step out. In verse 7, he says, you know, uh, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the good tidings. One of the things that will bring your miracles is go preach good tidings. Hallelujah. Awake. Awake. Go out there. Preach the gospel. Go out there. Preach the gospel. Go out there. Spread the good news. Tell them Jesus is Lord. Jesus is saving. Jesus is increasing. Tell them this month there is significant increase. Come and encounter Jesus. Hallelujah. Read it. And when you do that, great things are going to happen to you. This is your month. Your month of significant increase. You're going to rise on your feet. Hallelujah. Rise on your feet. Hallelujah. Oh, rise on your feet. And I want you to lift your hands and say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for this new month. This great month of September. This month of significant increase. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, the month is going to work for me. I preached to you just now. I've told you six things that you can get this month. Take it one by one. Begin to prophesy. This month is my month of completeness. My month, yes, of perfection. Prophesy it and say in the name of Jesus. Complete what you have started, Lord. Perfect the work of my hands this month. Come on, talk to him. Makatala. Tell him, Lord, this month shall bring rest to me. I'm going to rest from suffering. I'm going to rest from unfruitful labor. Oh, prophesy it. I preach to you. Take the word and speak it to your life. And this month, in the name of Jesus, there shall be perfect rest. Rest from labor. Magatakala. This month is number nine. Oh, yes. It's the month, Lord, that ends my struggle. This month, Kepakalata Kalibahadia. 
He can say, God is going to give me the largest and the biggest blessing. The largest and the biggest blessing. Mani kataka liga di sekeria. Bakato sekere. Yes, kapori bahande. Ide kerebo sekere bahande. Akalaba sekere brokondo. Tell him is the beginning of the ember months. The month of blessing. The month of prosperity. The month of divine security. Lord, he kapu. I will enjoy divine security. I will enjoy prosperity. I will enjoy favor in this month in the name of Jesus. No evil formed against me shall prosper. Everywhere I go, God is going with me in this month of September. Laga Basaka. Declare it. Great doors, effectual doors, they shall be opened unto me. Great doors, effectual doors, they shall be opened unto me. In this month, Madokele Karakata Sakata, Egedebo Shekeleba, Egedebo Shekeleba. Declare to God, this is the month of review, of repackaging, the month of renewal for greater success. Ikata, the beginning of the last four months, Father, in these four months, I will refire, I will repackage. In these four months, Legadi Sakatale. Tell God, these remaining four months, I will make progress. I will achieve my dreams. I will achieve my goal. Our church will move forward. These four months, I refire myself. I repackage myself. La Gata. I am putting on my beautiful garments. I'm rising up from laziness. Rakataka Yakata. Declare to God, number five, that this month, is the month of delivery. My resource shall be delivered. My blessing shall be delivered. My open door shall be delivered. The answers to my prayers, they will be delivered this month. In the name of Jesus. Makatokole. Declare to God, this is my month of significant increase. I will put significant effort this month. I will work harder this month. I will move faster this month. And I will get significant results this month. Declare. I will put on my beautiful garments. I will put on my beautiful garments. I will awake. I will wear on my feet. The beautiful feet of preaching the gospel. Blessed be the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name.